millions in a year to mend it. <laughs> when they see one ring they go cut it out. <laughs> so they can become looking young. The perfumes they put there. It's enough for you to live on the only <laughs> On this body only. Yeah. Just this. It's hard to maintain. When I finish now, if I do this, I will be very salty. Yeah. To always giving up death and smell. Amen. Good for that. Yeah. The prophet says it's worth about 80 cents. Mm. Yeah. This one. Yes, sir. But what is housing inside there? Yeah. Mm. There is no value. Yeah. Yes. That's right. What is housing inside? There is no value to that soul. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Brother, someone was preaching and he says, when you take a ten dog, yeah, and someone spit on it in the street, does it remain a ten dog? Yes. Even if a drummer spit on it. It's still ten dollar. You take it, you can still go buy bread with it. Yes. Sometimes even it's torn, you can take a silver tape and put it together. It will still work. Amen. Yeah. That is just money. Yeah. Paper. Mm. How about your value? Yeah. How about your soul? Amen. What you house on the inside? Mm. No Amen. price to it. Amen. But ourselves we degrade the soul. That's what we made on the miners. We worry what we have. I can't go to church with these clothes. Yeah. Do we care about how you are wearing? Mm -hmm. You know, my shirt is dead. It doesn't matter. Yes, sir. As long as you are not just a scrappy person on purpose. Amen. God, I believe, also wants you to be a tidy person. That's right. When you represent him, not just to be casual. Yeah. Mm. That's right. But it's not really what God is looking at. God don't care how we dress yeah. or the type of food we eat. As long as we eat healthy, it's okay. Yeah. Amen. But we measure more on that. That's right. Than on how we worship in our relationship with God. So, vain worship. Yeah. Can I read you another scripture? Amen. Isaiah. Yes. Isaiah chapter sixty-six. <laughs> Isaiah summarized the whole Bible. He spoke about the beginning and the end. And he was saying something here. Chapter 6. Sorry, chapter 66. From verse 3, let's start from verse 2. Just get a good background. For all those things has my hand made, and all those things have been, says the Lord. But to this man will I look, even to him that is poor and of contrite spirit, and tremble at my words. Are you hearing that? Yes. Not just any, but the one who value the word of God. Now verse 3 is the one that I want. <laughs> verse 3 says, He that killed an ox is as if he slew a man. After God asked them must bring ox for offering. Mm. Now he's saying your ox is like you made at someone. He that sacrifices a lamb as if he cut off a dog's neck. He that offereth an oblation as if he offered swine's blood. Pig. He that burneth incense as if he blessed an idol. Yea, they have chosen their own ways. And their soul delighted in their abominations. People's hearts are more interested in what they want than to please God. They are not looking at what does the Lord desire for my life. Going to church quickly, quickly. Let's finish, Pastor. Quickly, quickly. 
Brother, the song leader, why are you singing so much? It's fine. <laughs> they want to go. Why? So even when God is looking at them, he's saying, this one, what is he doing in church? He's just wasting his time. Because his heart is not with me. Mm. He is still thinking of what deal he's going to pull after the service. He don't even care to repent. He looks at his sins as nothing. He don't confess. But yet he come. The body is in church. The heart is in the world. Amen. Is that not the same way Israel did? Yeah. Amen. When they come out of Egypt. The body is out of Egypt. The brain, everything is still in Egypt. Their thoughts is the garlics. Mm. And they thought Moses is a time waster. If you testify to someone, brother, and you don't go on to receive the Holy Spirit, he will hate you later and think you wasted his time with church. Yeah. Mm. Check those backslidden preachers on the internet when they go start a campaign against the way of God. So for 30 something years, 34 years, I was in church. You were doing what? <laughs> what did you see in church when you were? Nothing. That's why you came back. But when you get a real bona fide witness, yeah. nothing is going to shake them. I don't know which man was they crucified in the old days when the Catholic was persecuting the believers. When they tried to cut the tree so that it fall on him, the tree swung and fell on them. They take the fire and they put that fire, then they pierce him and his blood come and extinguish the fire. Hmm. God was on the inside and when he was dying, they saw a dove, white dove, descend, ascending from his bosom to show the Holy Spirit was with him. Amen. When you worship God, you come at God's temple, you don't come at your temple. No, you can't tell me, brother. You can't tell me what to do. <laughs> Nobody's not like this, brother. You must repent. So who are you? Brother, read Isaiah. Amen. You kill an ox as if you kill a man. But how come God, the one who said, bring this offering, now he's saying, I don't want it. Because people were no more sincere when they bring it. They were not a tradition. It's Sunday, let's go to church. It's Monday, no prayer, no reading the Bible. It's Tuesday, no prayer, no reading the Bible, no fasting. When it is night, Lord, may you come and be with us when we go to sleep now. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> And you want to pull down the devil. You are a picnic of the devil if you are living like that. Amen. The devil will never leave you. You provoked him to go to church. To say you are a Christian. It's a provocation. That's why when you see someone who was once a Christian, his state is worse than the person who has never been to church. Why? When you come to church, when the word is preached, evil spirits that you on you, they are cast away. Yeah. When you go and you are not serious, like Judas when he used to go to church, was like that. He was not serious. Those evil spirits will now go and gather and say, have you noticed how this guy is so clean now? But there is nothing inside. The heart is clean, but there is nothing. So what happened? They talked to each other. Where I used to stay is very clean. But me alone going there, I am powerless. I need reinforcement. That is maybe last talking. Yeah. He go and invite Lime. To my Mr. Lime. <laughs> Mr. Laziness. And Mr. You know, let's go there. Mr. Immorality. Let's go where I used to stay. Because it's clean. 
But there is nobody. A strong man is not there. Then they gather. They come. First thing you decide. I don't feel like going to church anymore. <laughs> okay? After you don't feel like, now where will you go? Mm. I will just go and hear what they are saying in the bar. Oh. I won't go drink. Hmm? You only want to see. When you go there, the dreaming demon come in. You want, it won't hurt you to just drink one. Only one. Take one glass. One glass leads to sexual immorality. From there you become an alcoholic and all evil spirits will be living there. Amen. Amen. Just from one little compromise mm. of saying, no, oh, no. And then when you come now, what happens? Even if you go pray before God, God is saying, you are like a made of the man. I don't care about your sheep. I don't want to have it. Brother, do you know in the end time, there will come a people that will be crying at the altar, looking for salvation, and they won't find it. That's right. That's right. God draws a line. And then he says, when he crossed this line, I am no more going to deal with him. So you will be pushing and pushing until you cross that line. And the people will be saying, ah, is that not brother so and so? Is him? But the state in which he is. What caused it? Vain worship. Mm. When he was going to church, he was playing church. Mm. When he was asked to pray and receive the Holy Ghost, he did not take it serious. He thought he had the Holy Ghost. Eh? Because he felt good once. The Holy Ghost is not just you felt good once in the service. It must be a change. And a permanent change. Like when you burn a paper. It becomes ash. You never make paper out of it again. It's finished. Ash is not paper anymore. So when a believer is converted, he is no more an unbeliever. Amen. He is completely changed. Amen.